This is our 1965 Cadillac sedan. So this video will cover a few different things. First off, there will be a very slow paced walk around to the car. Following that, there will be a second walk around where I'll show close ups of all the cosmetic blemishes. And then there'll be some video clips of the interior as well as under the hood with the car running. So we purchased the car out of North Dakota where it had been with the same owner since 1981. This car is actually all original paint and unrestored interior, never reupholstered. Really, really impressive. Uh, we try to buy as many cars out of the Dakotas as we can because they are just unbelievably dry. Uh, so take a look at the listing on our website for a bunch of underbody photos, but it is pretty killer. Uh, no bubbling on the rockers, the lower corners, nothing like that. Really, really dry. As I mentioned, paint is original. It's Aspen White. We did put an alcometer, a paint gauge on every corner of every panel, and it reads between a 2.5 and a 3.0, which is just spot on for original. Panel fitment spot on, doors open and close nice and smooth. The glass is all clear and crack free. Uh, this car actually has power windows, uh, power adjustable front seat. Stuff's all functional. Uh, the windows do roll up on their own. You don't have to, you know, help them up. Polished surfaces are really nice. The uh, chrome is mirror-like, you know, no real oxidation, certainly no, no pitting, nothing like that. Wheels and hubcaps are really nice. The tires must be 20 years old, so you should probably do those sooner rather than later. Though they're not dry rotted, but you know, the, the safe assumption is that they're old and due for replacement. You'll see the Irwin Motors badge right there on the rear. That is the North Dakota dealership that sold the car in 1981 to the guy we bought it from. So there are a bunch of little spots of touch-up paint on the car. You can probably see them already. Uh, I will show close-ups again here in a minute so you can get a really good look at them. The car is unbelievably silent. <laughs> Uh, runs nice and smooth, shifts well, good amount of power from the 429. Uh, it is the original engine, um, the K5 code, and these cars were actually uh, titled by the engine number at the time, so that matches as well. Good bit of documentation with the car, um, the original manual and protecto plate, um, owner's guide, uh, an odometer disclosure agreement from 1981 when the guy bought the car, confirming, you know, that the 65 that's now on here is correct original. And of course, you can see the body is just so nice and straight and no bubbling. It's just a total, honest, North Dakota sweetheart car. Now, here are all of the blemishes on the car close up. There are three or four super, super light dings on the hood, concentrated in the center on the passenger side. Honestly, looks like it was probably storage related, but they're not nicks, they're just little dings, uh, very much PDRable. Get down low, there's a small scratch on the corner of the chrome bumper. And then passenger side come down low, you can see bunch of little touched up scratches but note how how dry and straight that rocker is again little chip touched up biggest spot of touch up is right here along that body line crease you can see that there and then there's another bit on the uh, upper corner here Then as we come around to the rear, we'll note a couple more little touched up chips. In the corner over here, there are a couple little dings. See that? Right under the light. It's kind of a weird spot. And then there's touch up, of course, in the corner as well. You can see that. And again on this side. So while the car has never seen a repainted panel, it does have a good bit of touch-up. Of 
course, with a blinding white car like this, I had to take this video in the shades. So we can actually see these things in, in the sun. It is just, uh, you know, it washes out. It's just blinding. You don't see the touch up. Super impressive condition. I mean, the cosmetic stuff is pretty much what you'd expect for a 65,000 miler. The weather stripping is good, not great. But you can see the glass is all nice and clear. It's not scratched up and, you know. Trim pieces all look good can see just there along the bottom of the windshield tiny tiny little bit of surface rust I mean I'm, I'm nitpicking here so overall super super nice survivor car on to the interior as I mentioned power windows those are good power adjustable seat functional uh, the gauges are all functional, odometer is accurate, 65, 7. Uh, the radio is functional. The analog clock does not work. Uh, that's really the only thing up front that doesn't work. Uh, the fan and heat are good. Uh, this car is not equipped with air conditioning. You'll see the door panels are nice, not kicked open or anything like that. The polish surfaces on the inside are beautiful. No pitting or oxidation. Really, really nice. You can see some of these little cracks in the steering wheel. Of course, you know, the thing is from 66. Dash top, very nice. No cracks, no warping, no scuffs, no marks from ad adhesive being there, nothing like that. Headliner is clean and tight. Sun visors are nice and firm and hold their position. On to the seats. It's a light blue cloth, never reupholstered really really impressive uh, around the driver's seat like the seat back and the seat bottom you'll see a tiny tiny bit of just like dirty discoloring honestly I think if you were to spend some time you know shampooing and scrubbing you very well may be able to you know get that out but uh, I didn't want to I didn't want to mess with all this original material the rear seat much of the same very good You'll notice the floor mats, original floor mats, are in great shape. The carpet's a little bit tired, but uh, not frayed or pilling. Just you know, a, a little dirty, little little bits of discoloring. The door sills again, no rust, no bubbling, no peeling, just bone dry, honest sweetheart car. You can see there's a puncture there on the outside of the driver's seat bottom bolster. That's really the one uh, glaring flaw of the seats. And the light blue just contrasts so well with the white. Seats are still nice and cushy, not blown out, not shedding any foam material, nothing like that. The uh, That flat surface under the rear glass does show some sun fade. 429 runs great, dead silent. <laughs> 